Hey, good morning. Today is Friday, March 12th, and uh, we're going to live solve the New York Times crossword. Uh, today's crossword is constructed by Peter Wentz, which is that's interesting. That's the name of the lead singer for like Fallout Boy, I think. Um, this probably isn't him. It's probably a different Peter Wentz. So just ignore that. But uh, we're going to solve the crossword and see what's going on. My mullet, by the way, is just like really peaking. So uh, you can enjoy that while we solve. Let's see here. Toward the tiller is aft on a boat. And this is hmm, not sure. Uh, it might be laid down if broken. Might be laid down if broken. Not sure what that is. Carries an added tax in Philadelphia and San Francisco. Hmm. End of the White House's domain. I'm going to guess that that's like a, a, a URL clue, .gov. 1996 book on grammar whose title corrects a melodramatic cry. Hmm. I mean, 1996, it's my wheelhouse, but I'm not, I don't know right off the top. A classic Camaro. Interesting. I think of the Camaro SS, but... Um, oh, blocked me. Frozen food brand famously lampooned by comedian Jim Gaffigan. I don't know what that is. To avoid the risk that lest, lest we forget in a new way. One who takes it all back. Dove in a bathtub is so Paint after a tough workout. It's probably like I'm sore. Eh. Um, oops. What am I? What am I doing here? Brief confirmation. Like I do probably. Tops and blocks are an example of mm -hmm. tops and blocks. What is this? Shocked. Like it's fast tops and blocks i guess are toys maybe little bunny foo foo light foldable table is a tv tray i grew up watching tv during dinner most nights um we didn't have any tv trays i mean that feels like a distinctively you know 50s 60s thing oh not 50s 60s thing i guess right 60s 70s thing you know those other decades uh let's see here cartoon bartender is probably most is lack from the simpsons i've been thinking hmm. first person to garner 80 grammy nominations well, that's a lot of Grammy nominations. And I mean, it seems like it might be too many for just a, a regular artist. Like, you know, maybe it's uh, a film score. Um, it's not John Will, John Williams is too long. <clears throat> Switch to the other side. Motorcyclists wear well, leathers are what I would normally think of, but like, a crash suit, something. Wow, world's most profitable company. That's interesting. Self-help guru Ferris, Tim Ferris. I don't really like Tim Ferris. I think he's a terrible interviewer and he just asks people questions and then as they're about to answer, then asks another question. It's crazy. Um, he's done well for himself though and uh, gotta give him that. Illegal accessing of a sort. Something noticed. I've noticed, maybe. Hip hop's hustle or comedy's rustle. So those are nips, nipsies, I think. <clears throat> this doesn't look good, though. Um, nip, nip, nipsy? Uh, I mean, it's pretty sure it's nipsy. Um, but I don't, none of that seems right. And I know this is Tim. One of the solo in Brahms Symphony Number no. One. Yikes. 
Oboe, could be oboe. Lit, hmm. Hmm. Not, it's not, not great, it's not great. Prefix, it's like a set price, set menu maybe, set menu. Get smart. <clears throat> Learn, wisen up, educate, get educated. Letters preceding a controversial take. Uh, could be like, in my humble opinion, picture winner between Forrest Gump and the English patient. Yikes. So it's going to be like 96 or 97 Pulp Fiction, maybe. Was that, did that win Best Picture? Uh, Unforgiven. I think it's Unforgiven. Um, great movie. Tough, tough rewatch, but uh, really good. Parker. Oh, Sean Parker. Um, who, like, I don't know what Sean Parker looks like, but in my head, he looks just like Justin Timberlake. It's crazy. Shining. I don't know. Far from a popular spot. Vision word. It's into. Lowers oneself. Brand of hairstyling gel. Oof. Um... I don't know. Yikes. <clears throat> a low pair is probably twos. Low pair of cards, low pair of poker. <clears throat> Nom de guerre roughly translating to bringer of light. Well, this is going to be a histor famous historical figure who was a warrior, maybe. Sound from a chicken. B flat. Lie. Could be lay also. 27 AL MVP. Jose Altuve for one is an Astro. Man, we see that a lot. Um, not a fan. Hot Pockets. Hey, there we go. That's a big, big crosser there that's going to help us make some headway. Uh, sound from a chicken. Ark laid down if broken. Good grammar. This is, this is pretty tough. Um, knowing better, wiser, I guess. If you laid down, oh, laid down the law. That's a nice clue. I like that. It might be laid down if broken. I'm here roughly translating to bringer of light. Who who is I? Could that be? Who is I? Corrects a melodramatic cry. Oh, woe is I. Sound from a chicken. Eek, that works. I'm here roughly translating to bringer of light. Oh, Ho Chi Minh. Isolate so as to hinder cooperation and communication in business. One getting the lead out. Back to back in French. It kind of looks like vis-a-vis. -vis. If this was wrong, which it could be. Brief confirmation. Back. End of a sales pitch. It seems like buy now. Oh, act now. There we go. That's good because I liked I liked lest there, and I didn't want that to be wrong. So glad to have that confirmation. Court entertainers in a new way of fresh. Court entertainers. Pep squad. Drug sometimes used for a vision quest. Let's play peyote, which is mescaline. 
Um, some people take just mescaline, but I think uh, if you do it right, you eat a peyote button, which is a little weird piece of gross cactus, and you get get real weird. Slash procedure. A slash procedure. Hmm. Hard things to carry alone. Nice. Oh, Quincy Jones. Quincy Jones. Hard things to carry alone. Secrets, maybe. Uh, opening on a trunk. Well, Unforgiven isn't looking great down at the bottom here. Ending in an eye. I don't love that. Opening on a trunk. I've been thinking. So it's just like, you know, you, you know. Opening on a trunk. Hmm. Irish Ursine. Meryl Streep or Lupita Nyong'o collegiately it must be Yaley. Singer who lent his name to a brand of breakfast sausages, Jimmy Dean. Now I didn't know that. I just assumed Jimmy Dean was the guy who made the sausages. I don't know. Um, I don't know what Jimmy Dean sang. Switch to the other side, turn traitor. That's kind of a weird, kind of weird um, word, true that. Primitive sorts are cavemen. Emphatic agreement in Latin America, CCC. I know it was Saudi here. This is Saudi Aramco, interesting. Um, oil producers, I'm, I'm gonna guess lit like a blaze a blaze does that work far from a popular spot hmm. one time host oops. one time host for abc news nbc news and cbs news yikes uh, i'm in network news nothing feels more dated than that it reminds me very specifically of my grandfather so uh carefully followed like to a t maybe to a T. This corner is going to be rough. Not on good terms. So does Nipsey. Not on good terms. In completely removed purge. Resistance figures. This is like ohms or ergs. This is like a physics sciencey thing. Someone Krieger. Carries an added tax in Philadelphia and San Francisco. An added tax. Classic Camaro. This must be IROC, the IROC Z. And it takes it all back. Rip. Ugh, isolated. So this is silo an added tax soda or minor okay uh, soda repo men a repo man dose a dose yikes I that's not I'm not into that uh, slash procedures, the month, crash helmet, illegal accessing of a sort. Hmm. One with a solo, Oof. opening on a trunk. One with a solo in Brahms Symphony Number no. One. I mean, what could it be besides an oboe? I'm going to say it's an oboe. I'm just going to. Try that. Get smart. Best picture between four scope and this. This really should be pretty straight ahead for me. I'm surprised. 
that it doesn't just jump out at me. I mean, this is mid nineties. Um, Unforgiven seemed like a pretty reasonable guess. Pulp Fiction, I don't think won. Um, Shawshank Redemption was right around then. Shining. A Gleam, maybe. So that's not great if we have A Gleam and this is like A Blaze um, and then A Ghast. Yeah, because if we have three of those, two of those is already too many, but um, Lowers is Danes. Brand of hair selling. Uh, opening on a trunk. A knot hole, I guess. Knot hole. So this is, I was thinking a trunk like a you would put clothes in, but I think this is a trunk of a tree. So not whole kind of makes sense. This must be a blaze, I'm gonna say. Illegal accessing a hack. Uh, Kurik, Katie Kurik, get smart. Doll up, get smart, okay, that works. Ohms, I guess it's Kurik. And it's just like Katie Kurik is gonna uh, do a little guest hosting stint on Jeopardy, which is awesome. She's great. Carefully followed, kept up. Well, that can't be right. Far from a popular spot. But zip, kept. Kept to. I guess if it was a like kept to a schedule. Uh, not on good terms. In bad. Oh, Braveheart. <laughs> Not getting Braveheart right off the bat is pretty tough. Um, I guess Braveheart hasn't aged super well, but I love that movie. Um, I'm I, there's one thing here that I just cannot get past though, and it's a ghast, a fresh, a gleam, and a blaze. Like, come on, that is any one of those. I, I wouldn't, you know, it certainly wouldn't go on the highlight reel for this puzzle. But you know, having four of those different things that, that start with a something, a ghast, a gleam, a blaze, a fresh, just woe is I, that really says it all. Um, hot pockets are, are a fun, fun thing. I'm kind of curious what Jim Gaffigan said about them. Um, I mean, I'm very curious. Quincy Jones, love Quincy Jones. And uh, I'm going to write definitely about him in my write up. Uh, Ho Chi Minh. I'm, Curious, like, if he named himself Bringer of Light, I'm guessing. I mean, <laughs> that's not something, you know, that's a, that's a pretty ambitious nickname. Uh, in Bad, I don't really like that. What is this, Veg? Oh, Veg, chill out. Eh, that's okay. Um... Some of the cluing, though, not great. And this is terrible. Y-K-N-O-W. Um, I mean, that's really bad. And uh, for sure, this was the hardest part of the puzzle, for me at least, the Southeast. Just a lot of uh, a lot of tricky stuff. Kept to, I, I really, that especially, um, gave me some trouble. I don't generally love the cluing here. I think that the cluing could use some work and especially in a puzzle like this that has some kind of weird niche fill. I mean, you know, Nipsey, like if you hadn't heard of, of Nipsey Hustle or Nipsey Russell, uh, you're, you're in real trouble there. Um, Jimmy Dean, I'm curious about that. I'm looking forward to doing a little dive into, into that whole story. Um, Pep Squad and TV Tray, those feel very dated. Those feel like, um, you know, from my parents' era uh, more than my own. Um, anyways, though, 1611 for a live Friday solve. I'm going to say that's, you know, kind of about an average difficulty, 5 out of 10-ish. Uh, so I'm going to get going writing my uh, my write-up on this puzzle, which will go up on crossboss.blog later today. So I hope you'll check that out. If you enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe to my channel so that I can uh, know you're out there and keep putting these things into the world. Um, also, just a note, I want to I launched a Patreon campaign and a few of you have donated and I really appreciate it. And 
you know, just trying to get a handle on what the future of CrossBoss is and uh, getting Patreon donations is a really clear indicator that, you know, this is something that, that you guys like and want to see continue. Um, so I, I really, really appreciate it. And um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say about that. Uh, so that's it for today, Friday, March 12th. And uh, we'll catch you again next week for another live solve of the New York Times crossword puzzle. Thanks again.